Hello everyone, this is Trent, welcome to my channel. Today we have Tarot of Tales, The Deck and Little Guidebook, illustrations by Rohan Daniel Eason, and it's by Melinda Lee Holm. A folktale inspired box set including 78 specifically commissioned tarot cards and a 176 page illustrated book. I pre-ordered this. It was released today and arrived today. So it's got a sleeve box like that. Folktales have brought us invaluable lessons on life for thousands of years with Tarot of Tales veteran tarot reader and author Melinda Lee Holm and illustrator Rohan Daniel Eason invite you into their magical world of art and prose where your reading becomes personalized fairy tales told by the cards. Melinda Lee Holm is also the author of Elemental Power Tarot and Your Magical Year, also by, is it Sicko or Sico book? Hmm. Here is the beautiful front cover. This is Magnetic. It's like that all the way around. Well, ribbon. Let's take a look at the guidebook. Hard cover, that's nice. Tarot is a language. Let it tell your story. This is a beautifully done book. Excuse my holy shirt. It's my favorite indoor shirt. All right, so we have contents, introduction, the language of tarot, your story, writing the ending, interesting. Then the basics, which is preparing for readings, asking questions, reading between the lines. You have spreads, then major and minor arcana. Look at that temperance card. That is one of the reasons I got this stuff. So your story. So, let's see. Tarot of Tales is written and designed to invite you into the world of your personal story. For each card, you will find a brief overview of the card and five possible card interpretations or meanings written in a narrative form. Parts of your story waiting to be linked together. Simply follow the spreads on pages 14 and through 15 and string together the pieces of narrative that correspond to the positions to read the story of your chosen topic or situation. Our stories are complex. There is so much more going on around the main action, other characters having their own journeys, setting, shifting, and evolving, than can ever be told in one tale. Very true. Fortunately, you don't need to know everything all at once. One of the greatest gifts of tarot is that it can guide you to focus on specific aspects of your story that need your attention so you can spend your energy where it is most beneficial. So you are the main character of your own story. 
many other characters, supporting roles, background characters, even villains. They all have their own stories too. What's their motivations and intentions? Hmm. Writing the ending. So how does your story end? That's entirely up to you. Wonderful. So it's a lot to get into. Too much for an in-depth first impression. But I will do a quicker uh, flip through of just the cards. So there's a quick video of just that. So here we have The Fool. Radical presence, trust, surrender to the moment, awareness, letting go of the past, and accepting all possible futures. The joy of simply being. So then you have in the past, at present, on the horizon, from above, and deep within. And you'll have that for each card. And just look at the full page picture, which is in color. Very beautiful. I mean, this book is well done. Ooh, I haven't even looked through all these cards yet. Um, I saw this on Lisa Papa's upcoming deck. Uh, I forget the name of the series of her um, specific series on her channel that she does. But it was an upcoming deck for pre-order. And it was out today and luckily arrived today. And it will be going up at midnight tonight on YouTube. All right, let's look at a minor arcana card. So the King of Wands, Realm, the Desert, and Volcanoes. Speaking through creative expression, planning out actions, decoding symbolic language, sensing the right thing to say, study of high magic. And you have in the past, at present, on the horizon, from above, and deep within, for the miners as well. It's a very nice book. All right. Let's get into the cards. All right, so there's a nice little tuck box here. I love that, especially because that's not very stable to keep your cards on a long-term basis. That's really nice. All right, let's get into the cards. Like a pale periwinkle to go with the lavender, very pretty. These are the backs. Very, very beautiful. Almost a mint green with a purple. Not quite pastel, a little darker, but very pretty. And pink. That would be a pastel pink for sure. All right, let's see the best lighting to do this. And I might have to just hold them up. See if we can what it looks like down. All right. So the fool. Is that a Pomeranian? I'm not quite sure. Juggling on top of the world. black borders. There is a lot of wasted space as far as the borders go and the big tag, but it works aesthetically, I think. The 
the magician. It's a rat. <laughs> well, they are crafty, aren't they? The High Priestess. The Empress looks like a little field mouse. Digging up onions. Looking fabulous. The Emperor. Looking at a map, deciding what to conquer, I'm sure. Very strategic. In control. The Hierophant. A cat. Speaking to, let's see, a little fox, another cat, this looks like two foxes, a rat, another rat, what's this, an otter or a weasel perhaps? So I just noticed all the images down here on the tag look like they're the same, at least for the major so far. The lovers, we have a solitary bee. Just him and his pollen, or her. The chariot. Is that like, okay, peering out of a stagecoach, I'm assuming? Yeah, getting dropped off at the palace or wherever. Strength, the lion, look at the lion reading a bedtime tale. Oh, that's so cute. And a hammock. The Hermit, you have his lantern, he's writing, journaling, or the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, there's some more color in this card. Underwater Wheel of Fortune. I don't know if I've seen that before. Justice. <laughs> oh, teeter-totter. Is that what they used to be called? Showing my age here. <laughs> Four raccoons. And they're still not... No comparison to the weight, right? The Hanged Man, bats. I'm pretty sure I've seen bats before, right? But that's cute. Three bats. Death, we have the crow or raven, however you want to see that. The skeleton and he's raising that flower to life. Temperance, the unicorn card. And look at the reflection.
the devil. Aw, oh, the shadow just looks so much scarier. Aw. Oh. I cannot wait to get into this book. That's so cute. The tower. I really like this tower. It's not being struck. Nothing's happening to it in the moment, but it's definitely seen its day. And it definitely looks charred up here, so. Took some lightning or uh, catapults at some point. The star. How Lion King is that? I could hear the, the song. <laughs> The moon. The rabbit, maybe not trusting where he's going. Is that a face in the tree? I think so. Sure is. Pretty creepy, but perfect for the moon. The sun. caterpillar or a butterfly emerging judgment now this reminds me of uh the rats of nim do you guys remember that they have their cute little mouse houses in the field so cute I say that a lot, I know. The world. Like a cave into another world. All right, we are on to the minors and the aces, or the cups. Ace. All right, so you see a lot of coral. So an underwater ace. Try to speed this up. Two. Oh, that's cute. Two of cups. Three. Just enjoying the party on the turtle's back. Oh, now that's adorable. I don't recall seeing this one because I would have fallen in love with him too. Or her. Or whatever. <laughs> adorable. Five of Cups. I like that five of a cup's interpretation. I wonder what the book said. Is it the Great Flood? <clears throat> Six of Cups. Aww. A, I believe that's a beluga, right? Seven of Cups. That's a good expression. Ooh, Eight of Cups. Interesting. You're not getting any of them today. Move on. Nine of Cups. An octopus or squid. Look at the blanket. How cute. Mm. Beavers or otters. I'm assuming beavers. <laughs> I 
the page. He is the fish. Knight of Cups riding a seahorse. The Queen of Cups. Let's see the King of Cups. It's kind of scary, huh? Let's see how these look together. Ooh, Ace of Swords, that's pretty too. Two of Swords, two doors. Three of Swords. I wonder what tail that will be. We will see. Four of Swords. It's interesting because I want to say, I don't, is it a pelican? It can't be a swan. I don't know. It's interesting. Interesting artwork. Five of Swords. Got a little twister action. Six of swords. Oh, interesting. It's like a graduation or an achievement. Hmm. Seven of swords. So yeah, these interpretations, some of them will be interesting to read about. Nine of Swords. Meth Dow Owl. Busy, 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 perhaps. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's that's a cute card too. Ten of Swords. They all got sex on. All carrying their little purses. Page. Now this reminds me of Miss, what is it? Miss Peregrine's Home for, I have the book, Home for Peculiar Children. I think that's what it's called. Knight of Swords. Well, militaristic uniform. <laughs> Ooh, the Queen of Swords. Look at her. She is intense. That's a stare. That might be one of my favorite cards. And the King of Swords is actually fabulous too. And I've noticed that on some of the swords, if not all of them, the handles are like branches. Let's see the King and Queen together. Yeah, I like them a lot. All right, Ace of Coins. Two of Coins. <laughs> Three of Coins.
Oh, I like this interpretation of Four of Coins. It's not from a hoarding standpoint. It's more of a preparation. Five of Coins. I'm not even sure what's going on here. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what that is. I'll have to maybe read about that one. Six of coins. Almost like an eight of cups feeling to me, but... Seven of Coins. I do remember seeing this card along with the Temperance card and liking them a lot. Yeah, I like that. Eight of Coins. I'm assuming these are supposed to be Redwoods, but maybe not. But that would, oh yeah, look at the little deer. Yeah, those are definitely some tall trees. Nine of coins. Ants working on what looks like a Roman aqueduct. <laughs> Cute. All right. Ten. Ten of coins. All right, we got a bunch of plates going on here. Bear, rat, some foxes, another bear. Are they eating shrimp? Can't tell what that is. No. Okay. <laughs> Vegetables. Oh, and bugs. Fun. <clears throat> the Page of Coins. Oh, wow. It's an ant head and teeny little ants making up the body. This is kind of a creepy card <laughs> to me. Yeah, that's a creepy one for me. Knight of Coins. Oh, an armadillo. And look at his wise beard. I don't know what that animal is. I probably should. A mole? I don't know. The ones with the long nose. Queen of Coins. And she's fabulous, too. Got all the feathers down here, the stones in her throne, the king of coins. Is that a lemur? A lemur, perhaps? In a very eastern type styled robe, that's wonderful, love that see the king and queen together. Wands. Ace of wands. And we have some dragons with the rod in between. Ooh, a double-headed. Whatever that is. It's like a double-headed stegosaurus or something. Three of Wands.
Four of Wands. Oh, he's playing the lava game. We all did that when we were little. Don't touch the floor. Oh, and he's carrying some buddies. Whether he knows it or not. <laughs> all right. Five of Wands. It's pretty powerful, the forest fire. Okay, this one creeps me out, too. I don't know what that is. Like, the old show dinosaurs? That's what that looks like to me. So, that's the Six of Wands. Alright. Seven. camel but what what's going on here is that like a a ring for performing or is it a portal we will see eight eight of wands and they're just having a grand old time basking in the hot sun I think that's the, these are the lizards from Fern Gully, and they creep me out, too. Nine of Wands. All contributing to the artwork. Snakes, scorpions, lizards. Ten of Wands. At least they're all single-headed in this one. Page. The Knight. Yeah, I didn't know these specific lizards were so prominent. <laughs> they kind of creeped me out, but I mean, they work with the deck, so it's all good. See, I have no problem with lizards like this. I do live in Florida. We have lizards, but not that one. <laughs> Queen of Wands. And the king. The king and queen together. Once again, the backs. I wonder what color I should edge them. What do you guys think? Leave a suggestion. I'm open to it. Those are the back colors. And so there is a little blue too. Blue, pink, a little minty green, and a purple. I don't think I have a duck from this company. Can ripple, ripple shuffle just fine. I'm not great at describing card stock, but seems okay.
yeah, one I didn't like, of course. <clears throat>